Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link in the description, deposit $100, and receive a share worth up to $1,400. It's free money. All you need to do is sign up and deposit $100. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make $100 every single month in dividends. I'm going to show you guys six different companies. Some of them are going to be outrageous. Some of them might be companies that you're already investing into. So I'm going to show you exactly how much money that you need invested into these six different companies in order to get $100 every single month. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. In this video, we're going to give you three different categories of stocks and then we're going to compare a very high dividend stock in that category and a very uh, somewhat reasonable uh, dividend stock in that category. So it's going to be a high one and a low one in three different categories. The categories that we're going to be looking at is the first one is companies that are inside the S&P 500. The second one that we're going to be looking at is real estate REITs. And the third one we're going to be looking at is ETFs. So let's go ahead and pull up the first one of the S&P 500 companies that have high and medium range dividends. All right, the first one we're going to pull up is AT&T, Tickle Symbol T. They're at $29 at the recording of this video. They have a dividend yield of 7.17% and they have raised their dividends over the last 25 years. The number that we need to pay attention to is they pay out $2.08 per share. So for every share that you own of AT&T, over the course of a full year, you will receive $2.08 from owning that one share. So let me show you guys how to do the calculations on that right quick. So over the course of a year, you'll want to make $1,200. That is $100 every single month from AT&T. You want to divide that by how much you'll get paid per share, which is $2.08. So you'll need 576 shares. Let's round that up. You'll need 577 shares to, in order to receive $1,200 in dividends from AT&T over the course of a year, which is $100 a month. And then you want to multiply that 577 shares by $29, which is the price of AT&T right now. So you will need $16,733 worth of AT&T in order to receive $1,200 in dividends from AT&T over the course of a year. So 16K, almost $17,000 that you would need invested into AT&T to make $1,200 every single year from AT&T. So yeah, dividend investing is not cheap, but it is truly passive income. You're gonna make $1,200 every single year from AT&T. They have grown their dividends over the last 25 years and they're a stable enough company to be inside the S&P 500. Yeah, it's not cheap, but it's the, the easiest passive income. You're literally making money while you're sleeping. Like you have nothing, you don't have to do anything and you're gonna make $100 every single month in your sleep. So even with AT&T having an outrageous 7% dividend yield, there is another company inside the S&P 500 that have an even higher yield, which is insane, which is OKE. Right now, they're priced at $26.34, and they have a dividend yield of 14.37%. That is out. That is insane. They have a dividend growth of over 18 years. They increased their dividends the last 18 years, and they have an annual payout of $3.74 per share so let's just do the quick map on oke right quick all right so here we are twelve hundred dollars divided by three dollars and 74 cents you would need 321 shares worth of oke in order to receive twelve hundred dollars in dividends every single year so let's do the math on that 321 times 26 34 you need $8,455 worth of OKE in order to receive $100 in dividends every single month, $1,200 in dividends every single year, and this is completely passive income. Okay, so to compare the two companies inside the S&P 500, you have AT&T, which is a dividend aristocrat, then you have OKE with a very, very high, maybe unstable dividend yield of 14%. With AT&T, you'll need over $16,000 invested into 
uh, AT&T in order to receive $100 a month. And with OKE, you'll need a little over $8,000 invested into OKE to receive $100 a month. So in between those two, you guys can already start seeing the difference that with each different company, it's gonna cost a little different in order to receive your $1,200 a year in passive income and dividends. And that's gonna bring us to category number two, real estate REITs. These are companies that invest into real estate and they are required to repay back their investors in dividends. The two that we're gonna be looking at is AGNC and tickle symbol O, Realty Income. So let's look at AGNC right quick. Okay, so here we are with AGNC. It is at $14.11. They had just cut their dividend yield and they still have a dividend yield of over 10%. It's at 10.21%. They just cut their dividends due to the pandemic. But I expect them to bounce back pretty soon over the next couple of years. And they pay out $1.44 per share. So let's do the quick math on AGNC right quick. All right, so with AGNC, you'll need $1,200 in dividends every single year, and you divide that by 144 that they pay out, and you'll need 834 shares of AGNC to receive $1,200 in dividends a year. So let's do 834 times the price of AGNC, which is $14.11 and you'll need $11,767 worth of AGNC, a real estate REIT, in order to receive $100 of passive income every single month. Okay, moving over to company number two, Realty Income, it is at $63.36, has a dividend yield of 4.37%, and they pay out $2.77 per share. So let's do the quick math on that, um, $1,200 divided by 277, you'll need 434 shares, 434 times the price of $63.36. You'll need over $27,000 invested into ticket symbol O in, in order to receive $100 a month in dividends from Realty Income. So it is a big difference in between AGNC and Realty Income. And moving on to category number three, for all of the people out there that don't invest into one company, you love investing into ETFs. So we're gonna look at two quick ETFs right quick. The first one we're gonna look at is SPHD, the YouTube meme, everyone invests into SPHD on YouTube. And they have a, their price right now is at $33.83. They have a 5.31 dividend yield. They've increased their dividends over the last three years. And and they pay out a dollar and 80 cents per share in dividends every single year so let's do the quick math calculations right quick twelve hundred dollars divided by 180 uh, you'll need 667 uh, shares of sphd in order to receive 100 dollars a month so let's do that six six seven times the price is 33 dollars and 83 cents You'll need $22,564 worth of SPHD in order to receive $100 of passive income every single month from SPHD. And the last ETF we're going to look at is SRET, the Super Dividend REIT ETF, okay? They're at $7.83 with a dividend yield of 8.81%. They just recently also cut their dividends and and they pay out 69 cents per share in dividends over the course of a year. So let's go ahead and do the math on that. 1200 divided by 0.69. You'll need 1,740 shares. And you multiply that by the price, 783. You'll need $13,624 invested into SRET in order to receive $100 in dividends every single month from this ETF. All right, so let's go ahead and sum everything up. The cheapest way to get $100 of passive income in dividends every single month would be to invest into OKE. You'll need a little over $8,000 in order to start receiving $1,200 every single year in dividends from that company. The most expensive company that I would take is Tickle Symbol O, Realty Income. You'll need over $27,000 invested into Realty Income, Tickle Symbol O, in order to receive $100 in dividends every single month from that company. But with all of that being said, over the course of the next couple years, 
some of these companies are going to stay exactly where they're at, same dividend yield, but some of these other companies are gonna take off, explode over the next couple of years because they're able to invest money back into that company instead of paying all of their money out in dividends to their investors. They're able to reinvest that, like at and they're able to reinvest that money and grow their company over the next couple of years. So over, let's say 10, 20 years from now, you could be receiving a lot more in dividends from a company that has a lower dividend yield today than they would have in the future. I know it's a little confusing, but I talked about it before in a couple of my other videos. So if you guys wanna stay tuned and keep track of everything, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But yeah, this was six different companies that you guys can invest into in order to receive $100 in dividends completely passive income every single month. I showed you guys how much it would cost. Let me know down in the description, which one would you guys invest into? Would you split up your money 50-50 or 25, 25, 25, 25? Like how would you invest your money inside of these six companies? Or if you're already making a hundred dollars in dividends, let me know down in the description below, which companies are you invested into and how much money a month are you making from dividends? But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.